Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to understand how to run linear regression analysis with one hot encoding in RapidMind. We run regression analysis when we are having one dependent variable and many independent variables. Splitting the data. For this, we will split the data into train and test data set. Now, why we use hot encoding? Basically, if your regression analysis consists of one categorical variable, and we want to convert this categorical variable into continuous. You require hot encoding, or also known as creating the database. It is also known as converting the nominal variable to the numeric one. Here, all your dependent variables will be continuous. Independent variables should also be running in the continuous scale. The basic assumption here is that the relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable is linear. Hot coding is to be run only in the scenario when you are having the categorical variable. Now let us see how we can do this in rapid time. So for this, I will go into the process area. First of all, let me close the previous outputs. I'll remove this entire process. Now I'll load the data set, empty cars one. I'll connect this line. I'll press the play button. And you can see here, it gives me the model of the car, the miles per gallon, number of cylinders in the car, displacement of the vehicle, horsepower of the vehicle, displacement rate of the vehicle, weight of the vehicle, Q sec. VS is vertical or a straight engine. EM is automatic or manual car. Gear is number of gears. Basically, the gears will be the matter of my interest. We want to consider its effect here. In my previous videos, I had only talked about the relationship of horsepower, weight, and miles per gallon. This time, I want to include the effect of gear. Here, the gear is running in the categorical scale. So, you can see three gears, four gears, and five gears are there. Number of carburetors. I'll come in the design. I'll again come in this process area. And now, I'll select the attributes operator. Kindly follow the chronology of my videos so that you can understand these videos very nicely. Select the attributes. Now, subset from here. Select weight, vertical or straight engine, no, weight, miles per gallon, horsepower, gears. Transfer it here. Now, here you can see here that we are having a different icons for the continuous variable. So basically, these hashtags are the continuous one. And those which are indicated by this pi, they are all gears. Uh, they are all categorical variable. Apply. Now comes set the rule. Drag it and drop it here. We will have to specify which is my dependent. So for this, I will go in miles per gallon. I will label it. Make sure that you may uh, convert the status of the target variable to the label. Now I will go into nominal to numerical operator. Why I am doing this? Because I am having the gear which is the categorical variable. So I will drop it nominal to numerical. So it will convert all the categorical variables into the numeric one, the nominal variables into the numeric one. Again, I'll select attributes. Why it is necessary? I'll explain. Drag it and drop it here. Activate the operator, subset it, select. Now there is a concept of dummy track. First of all, let us see what it generates without selecting the attribute run. I will drop this also and let us try to run without selecting the attribute. You can see here the number of gears which was there as an entire variable. Now it has created one zero dummies for all of them, right? So we are having now three variables 
one variable converted into three variables, four gears, three gears, and five gears. Now, there is a concept of dummy thread. You should not include all the variables in the equation. You'll drop one of them. Either you can say that my three gears will be the baseline and I'll not include it in the model. So the three gears will be captured with the constant and another uh, four and fifth gear will be captured with the slope. If you include three, four and five, will not be in the position to run the equation as the equation will enter into the dummy trap. Okay. So always, if you are creating a drum dummies, drop one of them. So I'll go again, go in design, nominal to numeric. And here I will say select attributes. I'll drop it here. I'll subset it. Select needless to say, horsepower will be considered, miles per gallon will be considered. Weight per bill will be considered. So if there are n dummies, you will select n minus 1 variable. 3 dummies, so you will select 2. 4 dummies, you will select 3. Minus 1 is to be done. Normally, we keep the lower one as the baseline. It is not necessary that you should follow this rule always. You can keep the higher one also as the baseline, but you have to remember what you are considering as a baseline. So I will transfer 4 and 5th gear here. Apply. So your select attribute is on. Now I'll specify, select the data from here. Minimize this window also. Split the data, sorry, not the select. Split the data. I want to split the data into 30, 70. I double click on it. Add the entry 0.70 for training 0.30. That is 70% for training, 30% for testing. Okay. The data has been split. In. Now I will go into applying the model. Before that, I'll have to run linear regression. So I'll go here and drop and drag and drop linear regression here. I'll disconnect this line. If you feel that you the model is getting, the process is getting too longer, you are having an option, you can drag it and drop the things here. You can drag the drop here. All this can be brought in one window. Now split the data and bring it here. Apply the model. Activate the performance. Make sure you select regression analysis. Drag it and drop it. We already discussed that one part of the data, which is a training, will enter into the linear regression and another part will enter into the testing. So model to model, this unlabeled. Now comes evaluating the performance. So label to label is the performance. Model to the result window. Anything else connection is left out? Yeah. Uh, this and this. I'll first of all performance with the result window. Model with the result. Is anything left? Let me see. Please click on the performance. And in performance, make sure that the coefficient of determination is on. That is a squared correlation. It should be on. Basically, it's the explanatory power of the model. So now the next thing which you should do is you can also connect example with the result if it is necessary. So you will get linear regression, performance vector, example set, 
Okay, let's see one by one. Let's try to understand. Linear regression. Now here, all those variables which are significant will be uh, displayed. The code says that these are highly significant. Now you can see here that the gear 5, 5 gears, its p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore this is not significantly contributing and therefore it does not have any code. Now the question arises that where, why the result of fourth gear is not displayed, no need to worry. This is automatic selection which has been done by the software. You can go in design, go in linear regression and make it none. Now when you will again run the result, you will be able to get the result of fourth and fifth gear. Both of them are insignificant. It means that number of gears will not significantly influence the miles per gallon. Okay. The question arises that where will I get the intercept of the third gear? So the third gear is captured by the constant. So this is a constant from where the things will be captured. So fourth and fifth gear. Okay. Now let us come back to the design. Sorry, the results window. Let us see the performance. 1.906 squared error, quite good. Squared correlation, 94.2 percentage. So the explanatory power of the model is also good one. Then I'll go in example. You can see here fourth and fifth gear, the dummies which were created. You should take care of one thing. This squared correlation is very high because we have included in our model these variables which are insignificant also. And therefore, it is necessary that all the insignificant variables should be dropped. So I'll go in design, linear regression, and I'll, I'll activate the t-test. Now, when I'll run it, first of all, you can see the insignificant variables which were gears, I went drop. Let me see the performance factor, squared correlation. So, when I drop the insignificant variables, still it is not affecting the explanatory power of the variables because they were insignificant. I can also go in by linear regression that is generated, example set. Uh, yeah, I can go in result and I can see the process from here. The entire process is displayed here. For more videos on Rapid Mind, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. You can see my playlist for more videos on Rapid Mind. Thank you.